Coming up on a positive note, painting ah, with a twist. Who let the dogs out in Brooklyn, New York? Plus, oh I told you you'd see us again. Congratulations. News 12 is setting up some scholar athletes for success ahead of the upcoming school year. And you're now entering a carefree zone. We're reclaiming rights to our inner child with a classic craft that might reduce your stress. Today, all of our news is good news. I personally choose to believe that around every dark cloud, there's a silver lining. And this story out of Long Island proves that it's true. Thousands of dollars worth of tools had been stolen from a charity that was building a home for a woman who's been through way too much in her life. And thanks to the kindness and generosity of perfect strangers, this story ends on a positive note. Speechless, shocked, and overwhelmed with joy. That's how Claire Helfenbein was after seeing her newly renovated, handicapped, accessible home in Hempstead. I feel like I just won the lottery. I came home to a brand new house. Claire is wheelchair bound and has an autistic son as well as a daughter. The charity Rescuing Families started renovating the Helfenbein's home in January. But in June, just five months into renovations, the group had $25,000 worth of equipment stolen. Gina Santoro of Rescuing Families says it was devastating because they were hoping to get the family in their home beginning of July. It just really put a a damper on everything. We didn't know if we were even going to be able to continue. After our story on this heartbreaking setback aired in June, the group received donations and tools from Long Islanders and Lowe's. Vincent Santoro with Rescuing Families says he was shocked by the community support. The community coming together really was an outpouring of support to make sure that we continue our mission and to get this family back home. We've never seen anything like that before. After months of renovations, Claire and her two kids are finally able to enjoy their handicap accessible home. Everything in the home from the bathroom to the kitchen countertops are all handicap accessible. They even made sure Claire's son Jake had everything he needed in his room. Do you love it? Yes. Claire says thanks to Long Islanders who donated tools after they were stolen and the volunteers who worked endless hours, she's finally able to have the home of her dreams. I am so truly blessed. I am so happy. I don't even know what to say. Oh my God. Claire says more than anything, she's looking forward to that first home cooked meal in her new house. Congratulations. You know what that sound means, it's time for a feel-good fact. It might be the summer, but the fact is you gotta start planning for the fall. We're creeping up on that spooky time of the year again, and this Tuesday, tickets go on sale for Cronon Hudson's famous Great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze. If you've never been, trust me, it's worth it. Imagine this, 7,000 hand-carved jack-o'-lanterns, each with its own unique design. A magical soundscape transports you from Hudson Valley to Halloween Town. And don't even get me started on the synchronized lights. I hear the best way to describe them is mesmerizing. So for more information on tickets to the event, check us out on news12.com. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was your feel-good fact. The sky is the limit for an exchange student from Brazil. Andressa Ojeda spent her senior year studying in Monroe, Connecticut. Now her rocket just might take her beyond it. At just 20 years old, Andressa Ojeda is on the path to becoming Brazil's first female astronaut. Three, two, one. She has experience building and firing off rockets, and she's even gotten a taste of microgravity. Her Monroe teachers say they saw something special in her a long time ago. Not only did she have the goal, she had a roadmap to get there and uh, she's been sticking to it. When I was 11 years old, I was reading books on like quantum mechanics and things like that, and getting like really into it, because I, I really wanted to understand more about the universe, you know? Like I wanted to understand how things work. This aspiring astronaut is dreaming big and working hard to make it her reality. She also says she's in contact with Elon Musk and hopes that that connection will take her to Mars. But back on Earth, farmers are looking forward to the year's harvest. We're getting right down in the dirt of Westport, Connecticut for this next one. This is a place of tranquility. 
rows of rectangles packed with promise. The Westport Community Garden looks like a city of green. Be careful where you step. On the ground, it's all about individuality. You can grow whatever you want as long as it's legal. Artichokes, squash, flowers large and small. And you've got brown-eyed Suzanne's. It's the time of year you taste the reward. Dig down over here. Oh my goodness gracious. Along with food on the table, folks here feel a higher purpose. You're going to have successes, you're going to have failure, and as you grow as a gardener and as a human being, you seem to get a little bit better every year. What's your spirit vegetable? My spirit vegetable would be the sugar snap pea. I love sugar snap pea. They're bright, they're crunchy, they're juicy. They're tasty, they grow well if the rabbit doesn't get them first. Oh, uh, we've got rabbit problem this year. The rabbits are breeding like rabbits. Those produce predators, always unpredictable. How can a tomato break your heart? Tomato can break your heart when my spirit animal, the red squirrel, decides to come in and eat a quarter of it and then leave. And you reach in, you never know what you're gonna pull out. Could be one of these. Still every crop brings another chance to grow. But however good you are at the things that you can control, there's an equal number of things that you can't control. The most magical moment in gardening is when the sun's setting and you're done with your gardening and you're sitting back and having a beautiful glass of Pinot Noir. Facts for you. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, anxiety disorders are the most common illness in the U.S. In fact, they affect 40 million adults in this country every single year. Maybe the traumas associated with this pandemic caused some of you watching out there to realize maybe you're impacted. That was the case of our next guest, Deja B, who says she was running out of places to turn last year, but her new business venture seems to be the perfect coping mechanism for her. And maybe it is for you too. Let's take a look. Deja B, testing, testing, one, two, three, has always been an mm -hmm. artist. Thank you. But in 2020, she remixed it. The studio was closed. I was not able to create or anything like that. New York recording studio shut down at the beginning of the pandemic. The Bronx born rapper says her outlet for emotional release was gone. With nowhere left to turn, the pressure set in. I'm a mom. I also have a day job as a senior business analyst. So doing juggling all those things and homeschooling, I started to feel a little stress and on edge. Until a friend recommended she try something new by returning to something old. And I was like, a dope coloring book. Like, what, what is it? I never heard of that. But instead of knocking it, she tried it. And the rest, as they say, is history. It inspired her to research. So it lacked representation of black women, women of color, and also inspiration. So she started her own collection in October of 2020. So in the hair story coloring book, it has Afro, um, Afro puffs, braids, beads. This one is all about setting goals with intention, and this one shines a light on strong black love. Deja B says it's her best seller. So I just wanted to show black love in a positive light. So it's everything from the first kiss, engagement, wedding. Every book starts with a personal poem. Every page starts with a prompt. And with a quick camera scan, her newest books will even take you to a positive playlist to set the coloring mood. See? Deja B says adult coloring should be a whole experience. It just takes your mind or for any negativity that's going around, just focusing on one task. Adult coloring is still a fairly new concept, gaining popularity just in the past few years, but there are plenty of studies available that say art therapy can significantly decrease physical and emotional distress. And let's be honest, kids are some of the most happy-go-lucky people on this planet. All I'm saying is the key to happiness might just be in crayons. There's another theory floating around in Connecticut. When residents there needed an escape, a local farm came galloping with the perfect answer. Horses. We're headed to Newtown for this one. Seahorse Stables in Newtown was one of the few stables in the area that was able to ride out the pandemic. COVID was a hard time for everybody, including us. Can you undo the crest tape? This woman-owned business was literally stopped in its tracks. Those horses cost us quite a bit of money daily just to feed them, care for them, shoe them, 
uh, veterinary bills. But the farm says its most important job was to give people some sort of refuge in the pandemic. We were able to provide a safe environment um, for people to have um, athletic opportunities, therapeutic opportunities with their horses, to have some camaraderie with other people, um, which was a very difficult time for, for people to have access to things like that. These horses provided an empathetic connection at a time when the pandemic was taking loved ones from us. They're animals that really know us and they feed off of us. Veterinarian Bonnie Asher was still going to farms during COVID when her husband was immune compromised. It was scary to come home to my husband and not know if I was gonna potentially make him sick and if he got sick, if his body was gonna be able to deal with it. Dr. Asher says we should hold on to those connections. She says we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go.